Good morning. You're tuned to Radio ITA, and here we have in the studio Mr. Akin Alabi, the program director of Nigerian Youth Connect to Work, as well as the team lead of the rise of digital agriculture in the person of Mr. Olajide Olumide. They're here to tell us about and brief us giving us information about the digital agriculture but first let's meet you sir akin akin alabi all right thank you very much uh, team radio rita um fantastic work you guys are doing i read all about you on social media i must commend your work in disseminating agric information to the world it's quite uh, beautiful and uh, quite innovative uh, my name is Akin Alabi once again. Um, I'm the visionary and also co-founder of Copper Farmers International. And um, I'm also an author, the author of The Rise of the Salai Culture book, which was nearly launched in January. And I'm also the program director for uh, a project, a national project called the Nigeria Youth Connect to Work, uh, which we are uh, discovering, engaging and training youths across uh, Nigeria on several value chains uh, in agriculture, and uh, I'm glad to be part. And uh, I'm glad to be part of uh, this this morning. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's meet you as well, Mr. Olajide Olumide. All right. Thank you very much. My name is um, Olajide Olumide, and I'm the project lead for the RDA project. So I basically handle everything that has to do with partnerships with the RDA book. Okay. Amazing. Um, this morning, you launched the book titled The Rise of Digital Agriculture here in the International Institute of Tropical Agriculture. We'd like you to tell us what prompted you to write this book and then, um, yes, basically, what prompted you to write the book? Why is the book written and what does the book intend to, you know, um, answer all questions in digital agriculture does the book answer? Okay, thank you. Um, the RDA project, uh, it's a project uh, that uh, we've been working on for the past five years and which was birthed uh, this year, January 30th, officially. And uh, the, the focus is to create a new horizon about um, digitalizing agriculture. That's the major focus. And um, how best we could begin to cause a shift or we call it disruption, you know, in the agri sector using the power of digital tools and also the path technology. Um, I would say that um, when COVID struck us 2020, uh, several things happened across all sectors. Number one, the way we do business, the way we interact, and uh, the way uh, we now operate you know, as individuals and organization. And we know that agri is also a very important sector that uh, we cannot undermine. And also it actually affects the local farmers and also the way we do, uh, the way we do agriculture across our value chain. So, um, the RDA is a project that actually came out at the right time, and uh, we're super glad that we launched it. You know, when the world needed it most, especially when the world is now thinking of uh, going the way you know technology and digitalization. So what we've done in the book is to create several avenues or create or write about several tools that uh, farmers, uh, those involved with the agri sector, can begin to use to uh, do agriculture in a simple form. Meaning that there are several tools today that addresses digitalizing agriculture. ICT is there, big data is there, drone technology is there. Um, we have uh, uh, you know mobile mobile communications. You know several things that we've written in the book, and uh, it actually addresses or closes the gap on how we can do things in the simple form using the power of technology and digitalization. I can tell you that. Um, Basically, for farmers that are not working or doing things digitally, things that you could actually do for, let's say, two days. With the power of technology and digitalization, you can do it for less than three, days, three, weeks, three, three hours. You understand? So these are the things, these are the tools we've been able to harness together with proper and deep research content, okay, and, uh, and uh, bringing it together to, to complete a body of work that uh, those I call the new agricultural talents can begin to use to change the mindset and also to create that um, new awareness of how agriculture should be done in the 21st century. So that is basically what the RDA is all about and, and the gap we're trying to close. Okay, that's amazing. 
Then how do you intend to reach out to the grassroots farmers who are probably not digital inclined, especially in the rise of digital agriculture? Thank you very much. Uh, this, is a this is a question I actually get most times, you know, when, when people ask me, how do you intend to get local farmers about digitalization? I said, it's simple. I said, look, um, everybody today, probably in the world, or yeah, and let me use Nigeria as, as a focal point, has a mobile phone, has a mobile phone, if it, even if it's not a smartphone. And um, when, when you communicate to a local farmer in his own language, you know, you've actually done a process of digitalization. What I mean is this, um, I'm going to take you back historically to when uh, the com current um, the, uh, president of EFDB, uh, Dr. Akuma Adishino, was the former minister of agriculture years back. He did something quite amazing um, where he was able to get phones for local farmers in some rural communities. Now, the idea or the strategy behind that was to pass information using the power of ICT now, which is also an important tool for digitalization. I was able to pass information, you know, from the ministry down to local farmers to tell them when they are sending fertilizer, where they can pick up these fertilizers, or where they can pick up any input at all that actually is going to affect or help them in their production. This is a simple way of saying digitalizing agriculture. And it is reaching down to the local farmer who does not even use a smartphone. Now, now these days we have new agricultural talent that have all sorts of smartphones. So it's it's even now easier for us to do agriculture in a digital way because we have several platforms that have been created that will link farmers and buyers together. That will help us to do logistic. That will help us to uh, create a blocking technology as one, and also that would even help us unless the power of uh, tractor usage for example i know hello tractor does that and i know a lot of uh, beautiful beautiful folks you know who are kidding the agri-tech space are doing a lot of amazing things using the power of technology so for the local farmers out there it doesn't exempt them so far they have a mobile phone with them you know and they can access information they are also using the installation the problem the, the now question is how can we now build on that to get enough data you know that would affect the productivity of a local farmer so automatically we are bringing them on board and nobody is left behind in digitalizing agriculture okay thank you for that um the international institute of tropical agriculture is about transforming african agriculture through innovations and this is also um, a part to attain that so give us a brief about your partnership with this institute in you know um ensuring that digital agriculture is embraced and agriculture is transformed in thank Africa. You. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I remember sometimes in January, January 10, when my, my team and I were about to launch the RDA officially to the world, uh, I read an article, a bulletin from ITA uh, bulletin uh, that talks about digitalizing agriculture by Dr. Lavard, if I'm correct, yeah. And uh, I knew at that point in time that IIT has strategically positioned itself as an institution to begin to share information or begin to unnest the power of technology. Uh, for us personally and uh, as a company called Copromas International, we've been working with IIT for, for, for close to a decade now, that's 10 years, on several projects, you know, um, you know, several things. For example, we're part of those that work with IIT, the Nigerian Stock Exchange, you know, uh, you know, several several projects we brought together with IIT on, you know, that can't even count. But IIT has, as is is an institution that I I respect so much that has actually caused a huge transformation in terms of youth and in terms of uh, transforming transforming local farmers to create wealth and also open opportunities internationally, even for the country. So so for us as a company, as an individual. I'm super glad that we came here officially to present uh, copies of the RDA book uh, with the team lead, uh, uh to uh, Dr. Deschel and also the team, Kati, and uh, to, to let them see what we've done, or what we've put together as a complete body of work that talks about how Nigeria can begin to harness uh, digitalization and the strategy that federal government could put in place to help them improve how uh, technology can be well placed in developing Nigerian agricultural sector. So, so that, that has been the history between us and, and um, ITF for, for close to a decade now. We're super glad to be here this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Finally, we would like to ask um, Mr. Olajide Olumide, what do you say would 
how do you see um the response of the no, the youth to this um innovation basically all right um thank you very much that's a very interesting question um <clears throat> to be honest um, agriculture is something um that is not very attractive to a lot of we youths and we have a lot of responsibility we have a lot of things to do in order to make sure that this sector um, attracts youth attracts we youth because the potentials the economic potentials of this country can only be honest if we can make sure that there is enough productivity in the agri sector and this can be achieved if we have the youth involved in this sector. And one of the ways in which we can achieve, and one of the things in which this book hopes to achieve is to open the eyes of the youth to the opportunities involved in digitalizing agriculture. Now, it is important to also note that agriculture is more than hoes and cutlasses. Agriculture is, is more than um, the, the, the crude methods of um, practicing it. You know, agriculture is way far more than that. And once we can get the youth to understand this, once we can show them where the wealth is, once we can show them where the money is, in quotes, youth will begin to see and youth will begin to get themselves um, involved in this um, sector. Okay, thank you for that. Um, we we'll also like to ask, what are the opportunities in digital agriculture? Okay. Um, there are quite a lot of opportunities in digital agriculture. Digital agriculture mainly has to do with um, the combination of two sectors, which is technology and um, agriculture. Now, over the past um, couple of years, we've seen a lot of disruption um, as regards um, how technology has helped um, improve this sector. You know, we've had um, a couple of agri-tech companies. We've had tens of them, you know, come up and... Um, Come with ways in which they've um, improved this sector. One of one of them is um, a pioneer um, starter of crowdfunding, which is um, founded by Onye Kakuma. It's called um, Farm Crowd. Now, what does Farm Crowd do? Farm Crowd aggregates investors, people who want to invest in agriculture. So people are actually farmers without actually going to farm. So what crowd crowdfunding? Farm Crowd um, aggregates um, investors um, and then. Farm Crowd itself as a company provide inputs to local farmers and then at the end of the harvest um, profit is shared between the investor, Farm Crowd and the farmer. So what does, what, what does that do mainly? People can be able to invest in agriculture without necessarily being the one going to farm. That's a very, very um, good example of how um, technology, digitalization of agriculture has really helped the sector and we really have a long way to go. We really do have a long way to go. There is artificial intelligence, use of drones for um, various agricultural operations and all. We really do have a long, long way to go. And what the RDA books hope, hope to achieve is to open our eyes to opportunities and ways in which these things can be done better. Thank you. Finally, I'd also like to ask um, Mr. Akin Alabi, the visioner of Corporate Farmers International. We'd like you to tell us how accessible is this book? to the public so that you know in case anyone who wants to get more information about it how accessible is the book okay thank you uh the book is very accessible nationwide you know uh you can always uh, go to us show me the land dm us that's the rda book you know you see our contacts there you know so you could call us so we could deliver to you anywhere i can even say anywhere in the world not even anywhere in nigeria anywhere in the world because we've delivered the rda to countries like switzerland to the UK and the US. Uh, by next, we'll be delivering to China, hard copy, you know, so it's accessible anywhere in the world. Um, so anybody can have it and read it and also own a copy and also give a friend, you know, so it's accessible. By by the by end of end of uh, 2021, we're gonna have the online series, the online version of it, so that you could download it, you know, visit our website, you could download it and also have it as part of your research tool, you know, if, if you're working on something that has to do with like night culture, you can have it as a research tool. So by end of the year, we should have the online series that, that is downloaded. But for now, we only have the hard copy, you know, that you could, that you could, you could reach out to us on social media, the RDA book on any, any of uh, social media platform, both Twitter, uh, Instagram, Facebook, uh, you see our phone numbers there and we'll definitely get across to you anywhere in the world. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, I don't know if there are any future projects with IT that you probably come back to do all that we should look forward to. Oh yeah, yes, definitely. Uh, currently, we're working on a very, very beautiful project called the uh, 
CFIL e-learning academy. It's basically an e-learning platform, you know, part of, you know, a tool for the selecting night culture. And that's quite big because we're trying to create a hub, a knowledge hub, you know, where youths um, and every stakeholders involved in the agri sector can plug in into and gain knowledge, either to become chartered, to become certified, or to, uh, to, to just, you know, gain knowledge on various value chain of agriculture because we understand because what, what COVID did uh, basically 2020 was that there was a shutdown in the knowledge part of the entire ecosystem so we, we saw that gap so we have now created a beautiful e-learning platform that uh, we're going to launch sometimes uh, by end of Q1 to the world so that anywhere you are you could log in into it plug it into it and that uh, becomes uh, and you could get knowledge and get certified and get trained in end of the value chain you are what you want to invest in and currently we're partnering with uh, the Lagos State uh, Ministry of Agriculture, uh, which is under the administration of uh, Honorable Commissioner Abisona Lusonya. And also we are working with the Chartered Institute of Stockbrokers. And we also, you know, we, we've spoken to Dr. Dachel about it and his team. And we're also hoping to work with our ITA on the e-learning platform. Thank you very much for coming on Radio ITA. We really appreciate your Thank you presence. so much. Thank, Thank you. you for having us.